Hey guys, we're back with another video today. Today I'm doing B from Superdrug and quite a simple look. I didn't use too many products. All I used in this look was a foundation, a contour kit with a highlighter and bronzer, lipstick, a brow pomade and mascara. That's literally five products. Obviously the eyeshadow is not from B. I wanted to switch up my look because I don't buy eyeshadows from brands and I, all my videos are starting to look the same so I did my eyeshadow off camera beforehand but yeah if you're interested to see how this look turned out then keep you watching so first up I'm going to start with the foundation I don't have a concealer or powder so I'm like taking it back to the old days I will never understand this packaging it's like in a tube but then it also has a pump on it bit strange Okay, so foundation's on, I'm gonna let that sit and dry for a few seconds as I'm not going in with a concealer powder. I wanna make sure that it stays on. Okay, now we let that set. Let's use the Duo Contour Kit Sculpt and Highlight. So it has a bronzer and a highlighter in one. The mess in the pan compared to like the product that's not on my face. Let's go in with the highlighter because literally the bronzer is contour thing is doing nothing. Next let's do brows. I have a brow cream. So probably one of the first videos that I'm actually applying a pomade. Ooh, it looks very fancy and luxurious. Some brow pomades do come with a little brush, this one doesn't. Oh, okay, it's got silver foil on it. I don't know many that actually come like that. It's a nice colour. so weird because I don't actually use pomades to do my brows even though I do have like five of them very creamy, it comes out very easily brows are done and I'm in love it is so buttery smooth I have to start wearing pomades again. Okay guys, so apparently I forgot that I also have a brow gel on top of a brow pomade. So let's apply this, even though if you have a pomade, it's technically kind of a gel, so you don't really need to pomade and gel. <laughs> you do one or the other. I thought if you use a pencil, they use a brow gel to set it, but if you already have a pomade, it is a gel, so technically you don't double set it do you who knows maybe someone can answer me that in the comment oh my god you can't even see that look how small that brush is and when I mean small I mean diddy it's like smaller than the mascara underlash oh my god that is so small Okay, by the colour I can tell that this brow gel is lighter than the brow pomade I used. But maybe that's a good thing. Who knows. I can always mix it with other brow pencils or use it as own maybe. Maybe it's a good thing it's small because you can literally get every single hair. Whereas when they're really big like the benefit one. You just have to like swipe it on and hope for the best. I 
Okay, it definitely looks weird on top of the, the pomade because you can literally see that it's lighter. But when I do that normally, it lightens the whole brow and it actually looks better against my like features. Whereas this one is just kind of sitting on top. I kind of ended the video and then forgot that I had this but maybe it's a good thing because like <laughs> what is the point in this literally <laughs> I can't really comment to say if this is good or not but <laughs> you can give it a try and see <laughs> maybe I'll do a makeup look in the future and add it in the video and then tell you whether I liked it or not but yeah, that is the brow gel. Okay, now I've finally got the packet. This is the Duo One Mascara. I've never actually used their mascara, so let's see. Okay, so on one end you have a thin mascara. I guess that could be good for your bottom lashes. Oh, and on the other side it's a bit... It's a bit chunky, but it's, it's small. Like a small chunky wand. So let's try the big one from the top and the small one for the bottom lashes. It's got quite a sticky feeling to it. There you can see it. Let's try and do the bottom lashes now. And the mascara done, I'm not sure if I like it. It's got a very sticky texture to it. I feel like my eyelashes don't look much different to an ordinary mascara. And yeah. Probably about the same price as like a L'Oreal mascara, like seven nine nine. So, mm. if it's gonna be that crap, then why am I spending like nearly ten pound on it? I might as well just buy like the, a two pound mascara. So, it's an okay mascara, but for the price, I just wouldn't repurchase it. Last but not least is lips. This is their liquid lipstick. It's called Fire Starter. It's five mils. Suitable for ve vegetarians and vegans. This is made in China, but yeah. They don't sell to China, but it's made in China. Anyways, I'm not gonna get myself confused. Let's apply this. Quite bright red. Be good for like Christmas or Valentine's. And it's quite messy. And that is the liquid lipstick. It is quite creamy, it dries almost instantly. If you if you rub your lips together, it's not like dry and cracked like a lot of lipsticks. So it will still keep you hydrated for the day. And basically that is the end of my one brand makeup from B. B dot B whatever it is called. Super Drug Zone brand. So from this video, I think the foundation is pretty good. It's matte. It's, it's got a good shade range. The brows surprised me actually. I like the pomade. It's a good texture because you get pomades that are either too dry or can be a bit too wet. And it's the perfect 
in between but obviously it's brand new you saw me opening it it had foil over it it's when it gets a few months old that's when it starts drying up so I'll have to see the bronzer highlight thing like it's not needed it doesn't do anything for me even though I don't didn't have a concealer or powder I have used the powder in the past well, I actually bought it for this video but ended up using it before I even made this video and it's it's bomb I really like the powder so I would suggest trying it if you like it it's translucent yeah the mascara did nothing for me they also have an eyeliner which I've also recently thrown away because it's dried up and even then when I first got it it's not nothing special but it's also like the mascara it's duo ended so the eyeliner had a thin tip and then like a normal thick pen tip overall I'd recommend to get the powder the brow pomade they have I think they have pencils but I haven't tried it um, actually I have tried it because before when I was doing this video I bought the pencil but I ran out so I had to repurchase a brow gel because I had so many products that I used up before this video that I couldn't have made this video <laughs> even though I did miss some products out but yeah the lipstick it's dried down now so yeah I would recommend you buying the lipstick the powder the the brow pomade pencil and that's about it and maybe actually the foundation because it is it is a good foundation but yeah I hope you guys liked this video this look and until then I'll see you guys later